Overwatch just released Brigitte, my newest gym waifu. Today, I'm going to show you a simple tutorial on how to make her classic. I like exercise because I love eating. If you're new to my channel, I'm Issa of Hood Cosplay. I build things and I like to be bougie. Overwatch is definitely an amazing game and I've cosplayed so many characters from Sombra, Soldier 76, and Widowmaker. If you want to create this shirt yourself, look below the video, there's a link to the template I used. Things you're going to need, yellow puffy paint, an X-Acto knife, a stippling sponge, a stencil brush, and cardstock to print on. On my inkjet printer, I print out the template on cardstock. The harder paper is better, so it doesn't tear apart when you apply the paint. A better alternative is plastic stencil paper, if you plan to reuse the same stencil over and over again. Now with a sharp X-Acto knife, cut out your stencil. Please, don't be cheap. A pack of blades is between three to five dollars, and will give you a nice, hassle-free cutting experience when you're doing this stencil. Also put aside the center of the kettle bowl. We'll be using it later. Take your time cutting out the letters so they don't tear. I really love Brigitte because she's a gym rat and is always tinkering in her workroom. Pretty much like me. Her shirt is funny and I really can relate to it because I'm all about that gym life, them gains, and if I didn't, I'd return to my natural state. A potato. We're fourth into this video and I finally got my ish together. Knife is pointing east as it should. Notice the weathered, faded, uneven texture of the print on Bridges shirt. We are going to recreate that texture using our sponges. First, we are going to tape the stencil to the shirt with some masking tape so it doesn't budge. Next, remember the center of the kettlebell we saved? We're going to take a glue stick and temporarily hold it in place. Now for the magic stuff, puffy paint. Do note this is a fabric paint that will not chip away. I don't recommend regular acrylic paint. We start by squeezing some paint on scrap paper. I'm going to go in with the stippling sponge first to create some uneven texture. Please take your time. Small layers over time is the best way to go. Anything more is gonna look like a sloppy mess. Next, I take my stencil brush. The brush is made to be used with stencils. You're able to get coverage without it bleeding under the stencil. I repeat this process a couple of times until I get the desired opacity. Next, I'm going to go over the letters with a sharpie to fill out any small details that were lost while painting. 24 hours later, it's ready to remove. I tear off the tape and stencil. Again, if you want a reusable stencil, use plastic stencil paper instead. As you can see, there's little paper edges stuck to the shirt. I remove them with tweezers. To make it even easier, I soak the shirt in water for an hour. It dissolves the paper away. When I'm done cleaning it up, I then let it air dry. Voila, your own Brigitte shirt. This shirt only cost me a couple dollars to make. I used an old top of mine and puffy paint is inexpensive. I hope you enjoy this video. Please check out the link below for the free template. Also, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more costuming tutorials soon. See you next time.